And welcome back to Mission Remote Gaming. Today, we are continuing our showcase of the Federation. Please enjoy. Okay, this is one of the ships I actually did myself. So this is, I believe, the Trailblazer class Corvette. The Trailblazer was a Federation Corvette, which saw service pretty much since the start of the war. It was used in, in large numbers in most, of it, in, in most Federation fleets, because it was very effective in combating some smaller craft, um, that being strike craft, to some also corvette side ships. It, its armaments cons consisted of four single Gatling anti-aircraft slash point defense cannons, and two dual of these mounted um, uh, laser cannons, which were, I believe, the same, had the same power like the guns seen like on the ballista, those single ones. Now these guns do hit quite hard, and if uh, and it, and if a ship is immobilized in front of it, especially uh, especially another corvette, they can deal some decent damage. The ship is very fast for its size, and it's 64 meters long. Uh, and it's able to go 80, 80 meters per second, and it has average Corvette maneuverability. Its hull, however, is not very durable. It has 1.45 million hull HP, and it has 100k shield HP. So its hull HP, it's not gonna get depleted in a matter of seconds, but its shields do get taken out there very fast and very quickly. It, it's also quite low profile, and yeah. So you deploy these in fleets, like fl flotillas. Yeah, these were made to function, uh, as Simoka put it, as support fleets to engage Imperial ships such as, for example, the Hawk-class gunboat, some fighters, or even go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Razor Corvettes. Now, would, would this be an early or a late version? Like, is this would be was this produced before the war or after the war? Because it mattered. This was produced about this about the time when the war started. It was produced for the war, okay. because the, because the, when the war started, the Federation didn't understand completely what the Empire was doing. Like they, they didn't they didn't expect the Empire to like come at them with with massive capital ships and massive fleets. So they built this thing to be kind of a dual. It it has decent firepower in capital weapons however of course these dual weapons do not have very good firing arcs to the side of the ship please join us next time for more starship breakdowns this is jack fly reckless